everyone, welcome to another craft tutorial in my Boiling Hot Conservatory. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this spinning pin reel card. Um, I'm using the folk floral range which has double sided papers which are perfect for this um, because it means you can see the front and the back so you, you can see both sides of the pens which is really nice. So this card's secured with a brad through the centre so the pin reel can spin round. Um, so all you'll need for this is your double sided papers. Um, I really like this range because it's nice and bright and fresh with lots of lovely kitsch colours and a bit of a vintage feel. <clears throat> and um, you'll also need brads to secure the pinwheel to your card um, and allow it to spin round. Um, the technique's really simple, all you'll be doing is cutting out a square um, and then making four cuts on the diagonals to fold the edges in. And you can make pinwheels of any sizes using that technique, um, just to make your squares larger or smaller. Okay, the first thing you'll need to do is cut out a simple square. So I just do that using the measurements on my craft mat. Um, it doesn't really matter what size, um, obviously it'll determine how big your pinwheel is, but you can just take a sort of rough guess. So we'll do eight across. And then I'm going to mark the diagonals from corner to corner. So what will happen is you fold in each corner, it'll be easier to show you in a sec, um, but what I don't want to do is cut right to the centre, so I'm just going to draw a rough circle to show the area that I'm, I'm not going to cut into. So then we just snip down each of the diagonals, And at this point you can rub out the lines if you want to, so they don't show through. The next thing we're going to do is fold each corner over into the centre like that to make the pinwheel shape. So we'll fold them all first to get an idea of what the pinwheel is going to look like. And then we just need to secure them in the centre. The easiest way to do that I find is using a brad. Um, so here I've got some um, blue brads from the Paper Mania Denim Blue range. So we're going to go for a dark one. Um, and then we need to make a hole in the centre. So if you have a single hole punch you can do this more neatly or you can do what I do and just stab through the paper with scissors. So you want to do that on each of the spokes that you folded over. Being really careful. And then align the holes. So I'm going to put the brad through each one before I tuck it through the centre. And this is a tricky bit because you now can't see underneath anymore. So yeah, now you want to push it through the centre. There we go. Now if you just want the pinwheel like that, you can fold out the brad flat here to secure it on the back. Um, but I'm going to actually put this through the card blank so the pinwheel turns on the front of the card. So I'm going to mark out roughly where I want my pinwheel to go. So I'm going to have it on the centre of the card here. So probably about there is where I want to make my hole and I'm just going to make a sort of cross shaped cut and then put the pencil through to open that out a little bit so when we put that through it should be able to spin round there we go so we just need to secure that at the back so open out the brad and your pinwheel can spin. If you want to hide that on the inside of the card, you can just put a piece of card over here or maybe a little circle of paper or flowers or decorate it somehow. Um, and then on the front you can just add any decoration you like. Um, so you could cover this with patterned paper 
Um, but I'm just going to draw a simple board around and then add a sentiment at the bottom. I'm using an artiste marker pen to draw the border here. So I'm going to use the thin end. Um, and to give it kind of a handmade feel, I'm just going to go for a really rough freehand board around the card. Don't worry if you're a bit messy like me, it all adds to the handmade feel. Okay, now I'm going to find a matching sentiment or tag from the faux floral set to put at the bottom of the card. Although I'm thinking at the minute my pinwheel's looking a bit lonely, so I might add a, add a stem for him, add a stalk, like you'd find on a pinwheel that you stick in the sand at the beach. Okay, so I've chosen this um, With Love Always sentiment um, from the decoupage set. Um, I often use just bits and pieces from the decoupage without using the whole set. Um, so this bit's actually the top layer of, of this one here. I'm going to attach that to this little tag with foam squares. If I have large foam squares with no small ones to hand, um, it's easier just to cut them down to size. Okay, and then to finish off, I'm going to add some small stars, again just drawn by hand. Sometimes I would use gems or pearls here, but I kind of like the handmade feel of it with the sketchy lines, so I'll do the stars to match. And there we go. It's a spinning pinwheel card. If you've enjoyed my craft tutorial, please click the like button and remember you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel so that more craft videos will show up in your newsfeed. Thank you!